Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Shoshi. Shoshi getting ready for the base of Migdash. Wow. If only Samson was here to see the whole Zach, the whole situation. Unbelievable. Chevra. Three days until Shabbos Kodesh. Three days. 77 until Perm. This is just unbelievable stuff. We're getting closer and closer and closer um, to paradise. Right now, it's time to change her addresses. Shoshi clearly changed hers to the base of Migdash. So she's obviously in Shabbos mode. The Chunaranana, the whole thing. Listening to Kach. So we long for the sweetness of Shabbos. Rebona Shayla, Mathil Bashim Kloisra. For Pesach, Ruvi, Minu Seva, Sarah, Bracha, Basi, Hudis, Miram Dori, Baschani, Ochevin, Yona Bas Basia, Shira Bas Basia. Sinai, Ruuli, and Bimani, and the rest of Am Yisrael, all of Am Yisrael. Mamash, anyone who's going through um, anything, anything, um, physical, mental, spiritual, feel it before you. So too, Hashem, my God, and God of my fathers, help me labor in your holy Torah constantly, day and night, in holiness and purity. Let my Torah study arouse the very roots of the souls of Israel, which stem from the thought of God and all the Jewish souls are rooted in the letters of the Holy Torah. Hashem, let my labor in the Torah so radiate that my Torah study will arouse the roots of the souls of Israel until they shine to one another. Even the souls of the wicked and the sinners will shine, inspiring them to repent and come back to you. Through the shining of the souls, create and give birth to the souls of converts and let those who are distant come and convert. Let them acknowledge the power of your kingship until the whole world will generally serve you. Wow, Chavra. Strong, strong tefillah. Strong, strong tefillah. We're continuing with our Shabbos preparations. Three days until Shabbos, 72 hours. We're counting down the seconds, counting down the minutes. We've been longing since the since last Shabbos was technically over. Hope we all did Malava Maka. I hope you guys did Malava Maka Bashim Kolisrael because I didn't. I didn't have a formal Malava Maka. Um, so yeah. Anyways, we just want to extend Shabbos. The Mishnah Brura even writes that it's a mitzvah to taste Shabbos food on Friday to ensure that it is appetizing, right? So when Jack Stepner makes his famous banana cake, Davey wants a piece of it. Davey knows. He got, he got a little taste Friday afternoon. Right? We're, it's a mitzvah to taste the banana cake before Shabbos. It's a mitzvah. Now Rizal says that this practice is alluded to by the phrase found in Shabbos. Ah, oh, Shabbos <laughs> Musa. Those who taste her Shabbos merit life. Wow. There's a lot going on. The chat is blowing up. Chunky Monkey Ben and Jerry's. The mitzvah of Shabbos Oneg, or the Oneg of Shabbos, is also fulfilled by a Shabbos afternoon nap. For as the Midrash notes, Shabbos is the acronym for Shana B'Shabbos Tanu. Sleep on Shabbos is a delight. Wow. Chevra. It's a pretty good halacha. Um, as we're preparing for Shabbos, I don't know if we should be sleeping six hours on Shabbos, but maybe a little, a little nap, a little closing the eyes, fake us Hashem, the whole thing is good. Knowing God, see Chodoran Aleph, there's a lot of things going on. 
There's a lot of things going on. We're still in Torah. We're trying to constantly evolve. And I got this Geschmack, Geschmack book, Geschmack Safer from BRI a couple of months ago. It was called Rebbe Nachman's Soul. There's two volumes. It goes through the first 80 Sichot Haran, or Sichas from Rabbi uh, Zal. And I feel like it's Kedai if we go through all 80. But we'll save that project for another time. Right now, we're going through Aleph. We're returning to the beginning. It is impossible to explain to someone else how you personally perceive God's greatness. Last night, we've been talking about how to maximize God's glory by minimizing our own glory. So right now, we're explaining that it's impossible to explain to another person what your perception is of God, what your relationship is with God. You can't even explain it to yourself from one day to the next, right? So the way I feel towards God, the way I experience God today, can't put into words. But even tomorrow, right, from a day to day, I can't even explain to myself. It's not the same thing. It's different. It's evolving. Can't put into words. Tomorrow, you'll not be able to recapture completely the understanding you had today. So the way we understood this Torah today, if we looked at it with our new pair of eyes of tomorrow, there's, there's, it's different. It's mamish different. It's not the same. It is impossible to describe one's perceptions of God. They are so lofty, higher than high, they cannot be put into words. Obviously, Rabbi Nuzal goes into length. Um, Kos David HaMelech, um, Eishas Chayel, in Sichot Aran Aleph, it's Kedai that we all look at, it, look at it inside. But something that I came across in Rabbi Nachman's soul, just to give us a little more clarity of what this really means, Ki Ani Yadati, Ki Ani Yadati, because I knew Hashem's greatness. Rabbi Rosenfeld says something so gishmak. Rabbi Rosenfeld will do a whole, um, uh, okay, we could, we could say it right now. Say it right now. Rabbi Rosenfeld, who I think, I'm not sure when he passed away, maybe recently, but Rabbi Rosenfeld went on to deliver a masterful series of Shirim on Sichos Aran. This is a book that we're going through right now. Rabbi Nachman's Wisdom, bring the meaning of Rabbi's words directly to the hearts of the modern day listeners, faithfully uh, transcribed his classes, shows how to apply Rabbi Nachman's guidance for daily living and forge a real bond with the Sadeq Emes. With these insights, you too can connect to Rabbi Nachman and follow his path to the pinnacle of faith. Wow. So Rabbi Svi Ari Rosenfeld I didn't encapsulate who the tzaddik was. He has a website, actually, um, or I don't know him himself, but someone created a website with all the shirim um, on Rabbeinu uh, himself. So it's Kadai that we all go on that website. The schmuck stuff going on there. But anyways, we'll, we'll discuss off recording who the tzaddik was, what he was all about. But essentially, he says something so important about this Torah, Sichot Aran Aleph. He says, this point of I know means that I am unique. Right? We're, we're connecting this, ki ani adati, Hashem. Because there are no two people on the same level. We are all different, Chavra. We are all unique in our own right. The degree that I know means it is only that I know this. When it comes to the topic of knowing, each person knows only a limited amount. At that, Samson's getting excited. Samson's getting excited for the background. It's amazing. Right at the end of the day, Hashem's greatness, Hashem's infinitude is so beyond, we can't even begin to think about it. Therefore, we have limited knowledge. We have limited understanding. Everyone is different. The more a person has performed mitzvot, the closer he is to Hashem. Hashem enclosed himself, according to the Tanya, and I'm sure in others, many others for him, but I saw this in the Tanya, so I'm just going to say the Tanya for now on. Hashem enclosed himself in the, himself in the mitzvot 
in the Torah. Right? So the more mitzvahs we perform, the more Torah that we study, the more we connect to Hashem's Chachma and have that yichud. The closer one is to Hashem, the more he can say, I know to a greater degree. So the more we involve ourselves in mitzvahs and Torah study, the stronger the I know will be. I know Hashem and I know myself. The stronger it will be. The more concrete it will be. Again, there it's just infinite to the levels of knowing. Right? It's just so beyond. But it can get stronger as the days go by, as time goes by. Bizrat Hashem. I know that was long. Questions, comments, please feel free. I think we're all fired up from Shoshi's background. I think that's Shoshi is mamish in the base of Migdash. It's kids are bringing the <laughs> bring the Shamayim because there's a Shamayim. Um, and I just want to say because this back inspired me that we're already walking to the base of Migdash. That's where I'm walking right now. Um, everyone knows. I don't know what you spoke about tonight. I came in later. I'm sorry. For the last few minutes, I don't know if you already told the story or not, but everyone knows the story of the Rebbe Yitzchak of Bardichov. When he came back from Mezrich after studying under the, the Magid, I'm sorry, I'm walking a little fast. The store's about to close and I'm running there to it. Ruch Hashem, Shabbos is coming. No. I already got to Sefer Ruach. And I go, and I, 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 I digress, I'm sorry. Um, Really, Yitzchak comes back from Mezrich, goes to his father-in-law's house, and uh, his father-in-law asked him what he what he learned in Mezrich. And he said, "I learned in Mezrich, I now know God." And he said, "I now know God exists." <laughs> and the, the father-in-law says, "What what type of ridiculous statement is that? Everyone knows God exists, like, and everyone believes in God." So he says, "I'll prove it to you." So he go. The father-in-law asks the the, the housekeeper, do you believe, does God exist? She says, Baruch Hashem. And says, and the Yitzchak said, she believes it, but I, I experience it. I, I know it. The, the, the difference between believing and knowledge is, uh, is monumental. And we know that uh, a similar story happened with the author, Abba, who we just celebrated his Yertzai last night. Two days, the 24th, but we're already Hasidim, so we continue it into the week. Give up. <laughs> um, listen, it's not funny. It's not a joke. People laugh at it and like, we don't believe in time. No, it's good. There's that's something that's leaving time. There's something that's leaving time. Shabbos, we leave time. The Tzadikim or Bechina to Shabbos. And every day is we're really talking about Shabbos. Wow, I'm fired up right now. You don't understand. You're fired so up. Sefer Ruach is really kicking in. The Tosefet Ruach, you know, every every I hope everyone knows that during the week we get we get uh, on Wednesday, Wednesday evening last night we got a Tosefet Nefesh, the, the lowest level of the soul, and on Thursday today or right now, Wednesday night, we get the Tosefet Ruach, and that's that the breath of fresh air that is Shabbos. Mamish, it's so fresh, it's so real. Mendy's kicking with the background of the of the Holy Zaidi. Um. He's all of our Zadies, it's true. Um, and show she's already in the base of Migdash. Wow. Can't wait to meet her there. I'm gonna be there sooner. Show she <laughs> save me some corbanos. I got you. That's all I have to say. We have to be on fire and realize that our knowledge for the difference between knowing and, and believing is monumental. I don't know what it means to know God. I'm only I'm only just getting started. Shmak, Shmak, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, running to the marketplace, running to the marketplace. Ad la tichla, ad she tichla regemen hashuk, as we say in uh, in uh, Hanukkah. Right, that's when the latest time you should want, you can light the candles. Ad she tichla regemen hashuk until the. The last person leaves the Chavu. So, I'm hoping to be the Tichwa of the regular man of Shuk. 
mean, Mendela Shoshi, you have anything to share? I mean, Mendy, uh, his background says it all. And it looks like he's surrounded by a disco ball. It's it's Schnee Or. That's the disco ball. The Schnee Or. Schnee's on. It's the Schnee Or. There's two types of light, two lights that you infuse. By the way, Mendy a, will tell us more about this. I'm done speaking. Sh- about this. Mendy, shot. please. For Moshe Weinberger, Shear and Schnee Or. It's 18 minutes. 18 minutes short. Oh, we have to start doing that bit. 18 minutes short. It's like, I'm up. Don't say I'm down. If someone says, yo, let's go to the market. Don't say I'm down. You respond, I'm up. Start doing that, Chavra. I'm up. But it's a, is it a down? It's a, it's a, you read the Tzorah Chaliyah. Oh, <laughs> the up is in the, uh, you read a, it's so geschmack. I'm down. <laughs> wow. Wow. Guys, it's still, it's still open. Guys, the store is still open. Shop I'm down to go up. Mendela, how you doing? Yo, Rebs. Thank God. Doing good. I'm stuck in this amazing traffic that's not moving. But it's good. See? Oh, you can't see. Baruch Hashem. Shut up my camera. Baruch that's Hashem. all we need to see. Right? Yeah. Look in the eyes of the Sadiq. Shoji, how are you doing? You're doing well? Baruch Hashem. In the base of Mikdash, studying for finals, can't complain. Wow. Kazakh. Wow. Wow. We should all be healthy, happy, and successful. But there are finals with driving late at night. We're we'll going to the marketplace. However, we should be well. We'll continue tomorrow. The Chavez Shabbos Kodesh, three days until Shabbos, 77. It's right now, Shabbos. Shabbos.